ladies and gentlemen, while we were all focused on the eclipse, Europe was hit on that same day by a dust cloud from Sahara, causing very poor air quality in Europe. So according to the European Climate Monitor on Monday, they said this large plume from North Africa came in with warm weather in parts of Europe and boy, they got hit with this dust. So an exceptional dust cloud from the Sahara is choking parts of Europe. The Continent Climate Monitor said on Monday, April 8th, causing poor air quality and coating windows and cars in grime. The Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service said the latest plume, the third of its kind in recent weeks, was bringing hazy conditions to Southern Europe and would sweep northward as far as Scandinavia. So the latest event was related to a weather pattern that was brought you know, from the Sahara. What it does, it brings in these warmer temperatures to parts of Europe. While it's not unusual for Saharan dust plumes to reach the European continent, there has been an increase in the intensity and frequency of such episodes in recent years. So they said this plume that hit them was pretty extreme. You know, and this is all going on while we were deeply engulfed with the um, great American eclipse. So they said this could potentially attribute to changes in the atmospheric circulation patterns. The latest episode has caused air quality deterioration in several countries. The European Union's safe threshold of concentration, and they said these were coarser particles like sand and dust, which can irritate the nose and the throat, has already exceeded in some locations. The worst affected was the Iberian Peninsula in Spain, but lesser air pollution spikes were also recorded in parts of France, Switzerland, and Germany. The dust outbreak was expected to reach Sweden, uh, Finland, and Northwest Russia by the end of Tuesday, which is today, with a swift um, change in weather patterns. So local authorities said the southeastern and southern France announced that the air pollution thresh was breached on Saturday. They advised residents to avoid intense physical activity, particularly those people that have heart and respiratory problems. The, the Sahara admits between 60 to 2 million tons of fine dust annually, which travels thousands of kilometers. It's carried by winds and certain conditions. So, you know, they, it reaches the U.S. as well. You know, I remember doing stories where it reached Florida. And, and over the years, it's reached part of, you know, different parts of the U.S., so we have gotten some of that Saharan dust as well. So they said it can travel thousands of meters carried by wind and, you know, and it has to be certain weather conditions, usually like a warm, dry climate. So the Spanish Canary Islands off the coast of Northwest Africa saw just 12 days within a 90 day period from December to February 
where the skies were free of Saharan dust. Wow, so only 12 days out of 90 days they had clear days? Wow. So this is according to the local weather conditions. So, wow. So, y'all, they said they get these, but this year it has been exceptionally bad. Well, you're going to have to tell me what you think, y'all, about this. So this is Tuesday, which means it should have traveled even further into Europe. Because they said in this article, because of the wind patterns, it was going to travel into other countries. So, y'all, tell me what you think about this story. And if you are in Europe and you have seen this, please comment below. Let us know what's going on over there if you're in one of these areas that's been hit by the Saharan dust. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.